as they are visiting the theme park. As they walk inside, they spot the roller coaster ride and they sprint towards the ticket counter. Click the roller coaster signboard to continue. Vivek and Susie measure their heights using the scale provided near the ticket counter. Susie is 10 centimeters taller than Vivek. Here we have used subtraction for comparing two quantities of the same type. For the roller coaster ride, Vivek notices that the adult fare is 50 rupees, whereas the child fare is 25 rupees. Vivek wants to compare the adult fare with the child fare. Another method of comparison is to obtain the value of one quantity in terms of the other. When we divide the adult fare by the child fare, we can compare the adult fare in terms of the child fare. Comparison between two quantities of the same type in terms of their magnitude is known as ratio. Being a comparison, a ratio will not have any unit. The ratio of the adult fare to the child fare can be expressed as 2 is to 1. A colon is used to express a ratio. We can also say that the adult fare is 2 times the child fare. Correct order is very important in writing ratios. Hence, if we express the ratio of the adult fare to the child fare as 1 is to 2, it will be incorrect. Click on the goodies shop signboard to continue. Susie and Vivek want to take back some souvenirs for their friends. They spot some blue and green colored caps. Can you find the ratio of blue caps to green caps? Psst. Good. The ratio of blue caps to green caps is 3 is to 5. Look at these candies. Don't they look yummy? Can you find the ratio of the weight of caramel candy to the weight of fruit candy? Don't be hasty. Note that the weight of fruit candy and caramel candy are given in different units. Before we compare two quantities, we must make sure that their units are the same. The weight of the caramel candy is equal to one kilogram. One kilogram can be written as thousand grams. Now that both the weights are in grams, we can find the desired ratio. The ratio of the weight of caramel candy to the weight of fruit candy is 1000 is to 800. On simplification, we get 5 is to 4. Click on the toy train signboard to continue. Susie and Vivek want to explore the entire park. They are considering whether to take the toy train or the cable car. The toy train takes 25 minutes to go around the park, while the cable car ride takes 600 seconds. Notice that the time taken by the toy train is expressed in minutes, while that for the cable car is expressed in seconds. Can you convert 600 seconds into minutes? That's correct. 600 seconds is equal to 10 minutes. Now, can you find the ratio of the time taken by the toy train to the time taken by the cable car. Good. The ratio of the time taken by the toy train to the time taken by the cable car is 5 is to 2. 
So the explanation is given here 25 minutes is to 10 minutes. The 600 seconds has become 10 minutes. So when you reduce 25 upon 10, it becomes 5 upon 2, which is 5 is to 2. Hey, while you calculated the ratio, Susie and Vivek boarded the toy train and are having a good time. <laughs>